In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, you are most welcome to Eucharistic celebration this morning, and this Mass, Nambi Namagembe Irene prays for her family, and that God may continue to bless them. And also pray that they, she may have good relationship with the neighbors and pray for her brothers and sisters that also God may give her a visa. The family of Ignacio Okello prays for the soul of Antone Kaga who died 20 years ago. That on the, his death anniversary, the Lord may grant him eternal rest and they also pray for all the souls in purgatory. Today we shall hear St. John uh, somehow going away from the theme of love, but is still connected, love connected with the prayer that God answers all our prayers. That whenever we pray, God listens and he answers. So we have to be happy even when we begin praying that the Lord, who knows what lies in the secret of our hearts, has already started answering our prayers. Let us not fear to approach the altar with our desires, with our prayers. Present them to the Lord, for sure he will answer if they are according to his own will. But before we do this, let us acknowledge that we are sinners, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess the Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who through your only begotten Son have made us a new creation for yourself, grant we pray that by your grace we may be found in the likeness of him in whom our nature is united to you, who lives and reigns with you in the end of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have obtained the request made of him. If anyone sees his brother committing what is not a deadly sin, he will ask, and God will give him life for those whose sin is not deadly. There is a sin which is deadly. I do not say that one is to pray for that. All wrongdoing is a sin, but there is a sin which is not deadly. We know that anyone born of God does not sin, but he who is born of God keeps him, and the evil one does not touch him. We know that we are of God, and the whole world is in the power of the evil one. And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding to know him who is true. And we are in him who is true, in his Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. Little children, keep yourselves free from idols. The word of the Lord. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing a new song to the Lord. His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's children exult in their king. The Lord just love his people. Let them praise his name with the dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. The Lord just lies on his people. Let the faithful exult in glory, and rejoice as they take their rest. Let the praise of God be in their mouths. This is an honor for all his faithful. The Lord just lies on his people. Mm. People who sat in darkness have seen a great light. And for those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. <laughs> At that time, Jesus and his disciples went into the land of Judea. There he remained with them and baptized John. Also was baptizing at Enon near Salim. Because there was much water there, and people came and were baptized. For John had not yet been put in prison. Now a discussion arose between John's disciples and the Jew over purifying. And they came to John and said to him, Rabbi, who was with you beyond the Jordan, to whom you bore witness? Here he is, baptizing, and all are going to him. 
John answered, No one can receive anything except what is given him from heaven. You yourselves bear me witness, and I said, I am not the Christ, but I have been sent before him. He who has bride is a bridegroom. The friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears him rejoices greatly at the bridegroom's voice. Therefore, this joy of mine is now full. He must increase, but I must decrease. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, today, St. John tells us that all our prayers that we offer to God, he hears and he answers, but they have to be according to God's will. And uh, maybe the problem can be, when do we know that this is God's will? Uh, here it requires a bit of uh, silence, a bit of reflection, a bit of listening from the word of God, but also listening from the people and the events around us to know that this is the will of, of God, that this is the time that God is going to act in my life. John the Baptist gives us an example. He has been preparing the way for the coming of the Lord. And when Jesus arrives, and there is a sign that he has started also baptizing, and many people are going to him, then John realizes that the will of God now for him is to decrease and to let Jesus Christ, the Savior, increases. And the same also Jesus Christ, you know, understood that that was the will of God. That the time had come, now it was his time to begin the mission. So it's uh, good to really understand what is the will of God for me. Because then we may spend many years doing good things, by the way, but you find all that we are doing was not according to the will of God. Not all the good things we do are the things we are supposed to do. Each one, God has created him or her to do a specific, to do a specific mission here on earth. Concerning our prayers about asking God, I think we don't have a problem to ask God. Uh, we as human beings, in our human nature, it is easy to ask God, give me this, give me this, give me this. And sometimes we may complain. We say, oh, God is taking long to answer. or oh, he will never answer. But John tells us, all the prayers we pray, whenever we ask God, he answers us. The only problem may be that he may give us something different, and that's why we complain. We think God has not answered. When in act actually, he answered our prayers a long time ago. I may ask for wealth, I ask for money. Because sometimes, most of the time also we forget. We ask things of the world, we never ask mostly spiritual things. Most of the time, you know, we ask things of the world. But I can use them also as an example. Uh, I may ask for wealth, and I say, I, God give me money, I insure myself, I get myself a medical insurance, so that when I'm sick, I'll be able to go in any hospital in the world so that I can be treated. God may see deep, deep within, within me and say, ah, now, this child of mine needs good health. He's praying, in fact, for good health. So he may not give me money to have an insurance policy, a medical policy, but he may give me health, good health, that I don't have so many complications which need a lot of money that I must have those uh, policies. You see, God has answered my prayer, but in a different way. And for many years, I may live complaining God never gave me money to have a medical policy, when actually he has given me what I was praying for, which was good health. Someone may pray God give me some resources so that I can enjoy myself, so that I can go outside and uh, keep hanging with friends, drinking and eating, coming back home late. Because when I go at home early, my wife is always complaining, quarreling, abusing me. So in order for me to run away from the wife, 
God give me money so that I can keep hanging around with my friend in the bars. God may not give me money, but he may transform the, the, the heart of my wife. She becomes good. There is harmony in the family, there is love. Then you may find that I'm complaining not the whole of my life that God never gave me money to keep hanging around. But he answered your prayer because what you wanted was what you were missing was harmony, was love, was understanding in the family. So let us ask the grace of God that every day as we ask, we may always ask according to the will of God. And let us also know that God answers all our prayers, not necessarily according to our own desires, but according to his will, which is according to the plan that he has for each one of us. Set my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and the glory of His name. For our good. Almighty ever living God, who gave us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty. And by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's right and just. It's right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and ever to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through him the whole exchange that restores our life, has shown forth today in splendor, when our faith is assumed by your word. Not only does human mortality receive an ending honor, but by his wondrous union we too are made eternal. And so in the company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed the Holy Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make all therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them and you fall, so they may become for us the blood and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered the wing into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. (laughs) 
In a similar when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Father, we celebrate the more of the death and resurrection offer you, o Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks to have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray. That by the blood and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Cyprian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Anthony, whom you called from this world to yourself. One that does, he was united with your son, death like his. He may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Joseph, her spouse, the Uganda Matas, and Anne Combon, and Bakita, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs with eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all grand honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As the Savior has commanded and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your, your kingdom, kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, gracious and grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mass we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As you are with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For thy kingdom, the power, the and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit.
now the Lamb of God, the body who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who call the supper of the Lamb. I am not to worry that you enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be. May the blood and blood of Christ keep us safe and bring us to eternal life.
Let us pray. May your people, O Lord, whom you guide and sustain in many ways, experience both now and the future the remedies which you bestow, that with the needed solace of things that pass away, they may strive with ever deepened trust for things eternal through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our masses and the let us go to love and serve the Lord. Have a blessed weekend. Same to your father.